Next, we have Representative Rogers offers amendment number three to the substitute H1 for House Bill 5784. Would you like to discuss your amendment? Yes, thank you, Chair. My amendment would restore $52.2 million for behavioral health inpatient capacity, which represents 169 FTEs and $1.1 million for central administrative support for state psychiatric hospitals and centers, or eight FTEs. As a healthcare provider at a hospital in my district, I can tell you firsthand that there is a significant and ongoing logjam for psychiatric care in this state. Quite simply, there are not enough beds or staff to meet the needs in our long-term psychiatric hospitals. This is impacting individuals who need intensive support, case management, and a medical team. Many of these individuals require stays that last months, not days. As a result, our acute care hospital beds fill up, impacting care for others who need access to acute care services. With no place to safely discharge these psychiatric patients, more often than not, they don't end up receiving the help and treatment that they need. We have had some cases where patients have been lodged in our local hospital for over six months. Acute care hospitals are very expensive and not necessarily the appropriate long-term place for these patients. And because the hospital is full, our emergency room fills up, leading to cases where patients wait days if not weeks in the emergency room. Again, these are not appropriate long-term places for individuals with severe mental illnesses. The funding included in this amendment is needed to help increase inpatient capacity and support for case management. This funding will help keep the flow of patients moving and get them to the appropriate setting that best serves their needs. Thank you and I move my amendment.